for someone out there. It's not about what you want to accomplish. It's more about taking the necessary steps to get there. Don't put your mind where the goal is. Keep your eye on the journey. Because I assure you that when you look back, it'll be those moments of your journey that you will really appreciate. Kamisha Monica, everybody. And this message is for someone out there. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Las Vegas Tribune News, online music and entertainment. Now, I know that right now the world is going through something. We're sitting and we're watching, we're waiting, and we don't know what's going on with this Ukraine and Russia and China and U.S. and if, you, if, if you're not living under a rock, you know what I'm talking about, right? But I do think that in 2023, I'm going to date it, the show, 2023, we are still having wars. We're still dealing with racism. We're still dealing with hate. We're still dealing with Things that really just put a damper on society has, since humankind has existed, it seems that people have had barbaric ways. I don't care what religion you believe in, and, I, and I'm not like a religious head or anything. I, 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 I'm not for one book or the other. I'm just more about peace. And I believe the intention of religion was to promote peace. But if you ever go into the books and you look at what's, what, what they talked about and the things that they went through, humankind has always had a barbaric nature. And it is still happening in 2023. We have people who want to be territorial, but this land was made for you and me. <laughs> this land was made for all of us. Now, I get it. I get it. I, I, I don't want the patriots to come for me and say, hey, Monica, you know what? This is a country of laws. We all have laws in our country that must be abided by. But I, I, I tell you this, just from a place from the heart, after having this tragedy for everybody all over the world with that uh, quarantine situation and now a war entering our backyards, whether you think you're far from it or not, I'm sorry, turn on your TVs, turn on your internet because we're all in this. I just want to say that for the future of the world, everyone out there, you have to begin to stand up. And I'm not saying fight for your rights. I'm saying look at that system and what's going on in it and learn it so that you could better live through it. You might say that's not, it's not just that easy. No, it's not. But I am telling you this, the freedoms that you have, the freedoms that we all have, I hate to say this, but I feel like they're in jeopardy right now. I feel like all of us, whether we're fighting or not fighting, whether we're looking and or we are just in the mix, we all have a responsibility as global citizens of America to represent our nation and the world in such a way that's gonna bring forth peace, prosperity, abundance, love. And I know I'm, I know it's a stretch and safety, especially with what's going on now. Now, I understand that shit happens. <laughs> I understand shit happens, but here's the deal. We don't need this happening right now. Now, anyways, anyways, anyways. 
enough of that. <laughs> enough of that. Two things you could do if you come to Las Vegas this week. Well, you probably never thought about this, but if you come to Las Vegas, you don't have to go to a club. Casinos, I don't want to hear it. Club owners, I don't want to hear it. This is just a shout out to party buses. You can actually have a party on the bus. What is that? Drinks, champagne, vodka, <laughs> Hennessy, <laughs> cognacs. <laughs> I think 50 Cent has one. I think, uh, I think it's Bron. I'll get that name next time. But there's a lot of liquor out there <laughs> that you could take on the party buses. Now, I wouldn't say don't get too drunk or whatever, but you, you, you get the point. Party buses is a, it's not, it's not new, but it is a huge thing and people are running it up. And I'm going to tell you, there is, there is a party bus company that has a five-star rating and that's Crown Las Vegas. So for now, <laughs> they're on my list. And I'll tell you about other companies a little bit later, but consider a party bus. Consider having some fun, getting on and driving all the way up the strip and all the way down to Fremont. That's something you could consider. Number two, number two. Another way you can roll into Vegas is limo style. It is one of the sexiest things that you could do. It's kind of like a pretty lady, uh, gives you that kind of feel. Try that too. Now, 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 I'd have to ask, <laughs> one, what is going on here? Two, is the actions justified? And three, is this even real? <sighs> I, I said I didn't want this to be a social show. I, I, I really, 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 really said that. But I was got into a conversation the other day and they talked to me about this war in Ukraine and in Russia. And my godfather told me that, well, you know, America is changing. I don't know what we are. I don't know what we're doing. And I am in my 70s and it just looks like a different America. Well, he believes that China is trying to give military aid to Russia. This is what he believes based on what he's watching. And he watches a lot of TV and the internet too. And he believes that once they give ammunition and help out Russia, Russia's going to be able to take Europe. It kind of makes sense. I'm not saying it's a prediction, but I feel like it kind of makes sense. I don't think they're going to stop at Ukraine if they win. Sad day in the world. And I can only imagine when you're a senior and you're watching the destruction and how fearful that is. But you know what? I think, I think, I think America is just one of those countries that is the world's police. And unfortunately, we put ourselves in that position because one, we're givers. Two, we, we are not perfect. <laughs> and we've had our hands in a lot of things that most people are still screaming about wars they believe we shouldn't even be in and don't have to have our hands in. But I say this, war has been a part of our world since the beginning of time. I don't think it's ever gonna end this atrocity that plagues our life, war. So I think if we take a, an approach where individually we begin to think about people other than ourselves, and it's a one by one thing, not a collective thing, I think. It's a one by one thing. 
I think we'll have a better future for our children. The ones we have now and the ones we are planning to have later. All right, everybody. I think I, I, I really today, I really was feeling some type of way and I kind of felt down. I, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I really felt down. I felt down because I felt like I just feel like so much is going on in the world and somehow I'm going to figure out how this show can be a vehicle for people to maybe speak their thoughts. But for now, for now, we're sticking to entertainment. But I can't say in the future that it might not change, you know, that it may may or may not change. All right, everybody. There isn't anything else I want to give to you and just stay safe out there. Um, kiss your children, kiss your wife, kiss your husband, kiss your lover, kiss your friend. Tell people you love them. Let's get back to the goodness left in the world. That's it. That's all. Until we meet again. I'll see you next week. Deuces.